you want to take your vegetable scraps and turn into nutrient-rich soil, come with me. Hello and welcome. I am making a worm bin today. Uh, we're going to get right into it. I ended up picking up over the uh, Christmas shopping season some Home Depot buckets, these little bins. Uh, they're, they're not little either. 27 gallons. They come with the cover. I ended up drilling holes in the center of each uh, square and I drilled holes along the uh, outside edge as you can see all the way around the 27 gallons nine dollars a little less than nine dollars uh, I already had cocoa core which is a coconut fiber a coconut husk that's shredded up and it is uh, compressed into a block and all you have to do is add water so expands to eight quarts in two minutes I'll leave the link in the description I get a better deal than this this was like three or four dollars maybe less than that at Home Depot a couple years ago. I just happened to see it on the side and I picked up two of them. So I have uh, this cocoa core hydrated in in this bucket. It's very soft bedding material. It's going to be perfect for the worms. I added the little things you see in there. I added a little bit of sprinkled eggshells which I use right here. I have a bin of eggshells, little container, and I was letting the uh, dust settle. I ground all that up on just a mix setting, mixer, a chop. So I sprinkled the eggshell dust because it's going to be way easier for them to digest. I sprinkled that through here, mixed it in real good so you can barely, you can't really see it at all. And then there's a little bit of paper. I did a handful of some grapes and buried them in there and I'm going to introduce the worms in a moment to where uh, we can see them uh, get into their bedding. I'm going to moisten them down because they just came out of their yeah. delivery and they're going to be in shock. So comes in a nice breathable bag and I'm going to let them sit for about a day before I feed them and then you go and you feed them uh, one corner at a time and we'll just move right around the bin that corner and then that corner and let them do their thing and so hopefully they'll break this cocoa core down they'll break the uh, food down that's what i have over here food scraps and we'll go from there so let's uh let's introduce the worms i have five inches in the bin i measured about five inches deep of cocoa core but it's well away from the holes that i drilled as you can see that's probably another six seven eight inches you can see the holes that I drilled all the way around. So let's introduce the worms and uh, we'll see what happens. They did come alive. Another thing that Uncle Jim likes to do is uh, guarantee their worms. So you can see they are loving it in there. But they're very tiny, very thin worms. They're in shock and there's not a lot of moisture. So all you have to do is just dump them straight in. And then leave them alone. Don't mix them up. Don't do anything fancy. That's 500 worms. I'm just going to let them expand and uh, do their thing. red wigglers specifically like to live in the top three to five inches of the soil. So if I have five inches, that whole area is livable and you have from one end to the other and, and you know, this way of um, surface area that they can do their thing and, and run around in. So I'm going to give them a little water now that I'm uh, thinking of it because spritz them with some water. They had a nice long delivery actually it only took a few days it was expected to come tomorrow on Saturday and it came today which was nice so they like to um, 
they like to live right on the right on the surface and then within the, the three to five inches of, of soil i'm going to feed them in a corner so probably the first feeding i'll come over here and i'm just going to put the food right here in this corner we saw quite a bit moving so i'm going to take that as a positive and we'll see what happens so that yeah, so there's a lot of activity going on. I think as a uh, as a whole here, definitely a success as far as uh, worms and not being dead. So that's great. I'm going to let them do their thing. So once they're introduced into the bin, I'm just taking a piece of cardboard that I've cut to fit this perfectly. And now they don't have to uh, get blinded by the light. They can come to the surface right underneath the cardboard. Um, so with the moist top and the cardboard blocking the light, they can have a nice uh, secure 5 inch area. So I have a light over this that is uh, shining down with a, a nice energy efficient uh, light bulb on, in a shop light, which let's see if I, without washing out the, the video, you can see I just have a regular shop light clipped here. And if they want to or try to travel outside of the cardboard, they will, um, of course, not come out of there. This should remedy that and they will stay under there. And when I feed them, I will film that for you and show you what to do there. So that's how you introduce the worms into the bin. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit me a like if you like this video. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see future ones and you'll get notified if you click that bell. Thanks for watching.